months of political unrest and violence in our streets and government buildings along with the pandemic. Very stressful past 365 days for all of us it here. It really has been. As, as a nation, we have been through so much. And joining us this morning is Dr. Carol Darsa, a trauma specialist, a psychologist, and an author of the Trauma Map. Doctor, welcome to our newscast. Thank you so much for getting up so early. Thank you for inviting me. Of course, you know, 2020 brought so many challenges, political turmoil, pandemic. It's, it's been hard. 2021, off to a tumultuous start. How do we begin to heal? That is a very good question. First of all, we have to understand why this is so traumatic. We had such a difficult year with pandemic and the numbers are increasing and uh, elections, BLM movements, and then what's happening in the capital. It's important to stay uh, kind to each other and not get into more hatred uh, and looking for, eye, for an eye type of situation. Um, and really finding ways to find peace, first of all, within, and uh, practicing a lot of different uh, mindfulness ways of being could be very helpful in these difficult situations. I want to talk about kids for a, for a moment here. You know, I, along with so many parents, have had some very difficult discussions over the past 10 months. I mean, why we can't go anywhere, why we're not in school, have race issues, violence in our streets. I mean, how do we help our children cope with all this? It is even more difficult for the children. At the same time, though, they have more resilience because they can get to play and distract themselves positively. It's important to share only certain amount of information with children and not everything. Mm -hmm. And so be careful how much news you're watching in front of your children so that they're not that exposed. Uh, stay honest, really assure them that they are safe even though I know nobody's feeling safe right now, but children are more concerned about whether they are safe within the family and whether you as parents can take care of them or not. And um, so it just assure to their kids that no matter what happens, you are there for them and you're going to take care of them. You know, you brought up a good point about being kind to each other. You know, political conversations, you know, they're happening within families, friends, work. Um, how do we have these conversations and not taken personally. You know, the country is so split and it's getting more and more split, but a big part of this is really related to the amount of stress that we are under. So we can't forget this reason. Um, that's where it's, uh, it's important not to take it personally and really practicing understanding of differences. Uh, until a few years ago, we had more tolerance for such a difference of opinion. And now people are becoming more and more strongly opinionated uh, and becoming much less tolerant. You know, if, if, if the stress is just too much right now, uh, if there's a viewer that's, that's watching this right now that's asking, what can, I be, what can I do right now before this affects my health? I mean, what, what are just a couple quick examples you can give that person that's, that's going through this right now? If it becomes too much where they're really remembering even their past childhood traumas or uh, they're becoming depressed or unable to function, I would first recommend professional help. Uh, another way of dealing with it is really taking care of yourself daily, including nutrition, exercise, sleeping well, um, finding maybe meditation or yoga practices that help, writing gratitude journal on a daily basis. So when you take care of yourself also emotionally, not just physically, you have more capacity to tolerate stress on an ongoing basis. But reaching out to others and expressing your feelings or even journaling about them could be very helpful too. So you have an outlet uh, without feeling like somebody's going to judge you. And it's okay to take a step away from all of this. Take a breather, yeah. turn off your TV, don't check in on your phone. Um, just kind of go away for a little bit. Dr. Uh, Darsa, thank you so much for your input. And um, it was great to have this conversation with you this morning. Thanks, Doc. You're welcome.